that's amazing. Honestly, it sounds sick in here. We should record it. <laughs> Just a keeper. Why uh, did we come to Australia? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of regretting it now. Yeah. <laughs> Next burning. Should we go home? Yeah, it sucks. Because the weather's amazing and. Something to work up to as well. Yeah, there's so much to do. We've been getting into surfing and, and, and just all sorts of things, really. So we've wanted to get up every morning and, and be, you know, proactive. So when we, by the time we're in the studio for one or two, we've all been, you know, awake for a few hours and feeling really refreshed. So I think that's really helped. And it's a lot more relaxed um, on like writing as well because you know that you're coming away just to do something. Whereas normally, if we're recording in London, you have to, you know, you get up at like nine and you have to sit in a couple of hours of traffic driving into London. You spend all day at the studio and you only have, you know, it's like because we'll have like two days in the studio then we have to go off and do something else like go and do a show we have to go and do you know interviews and press and photo shoots and stuff and so it means that you have to have it all written by the time you go into the studio whereas coming over here we had a week of doing nothing when we first got here where we could finish some stuff off you just sit in a room and try and shut the door and just write a song but out here you can look at the sea and walk around this an amazing apartment or house and write an amazing song so look at it, it's amazing. If I feel like back on track, lads. This will be the first and last time this year that I'm on camera. <laughs> we all go out for dinner and the four of us just sit and listen. But living with Fletch, he'll be, literally be the last person you hear talking before you go to bed. I would have been in bed an hour and I can still hear him talking to someone upstairs. And then I wake up in the morning and we can all go. <laughs> we, can, we can all go and get breakfast, sit out here say good morning and sit and eat breakfast quite peacefully with the waves and the sun and everything. Fletch comes out and didn't say anything, sits so before his breakfast, looks quite sleepy and as soon as you say morning Fletch, it's like morning, I had a dream last night. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so that's it for the whole day, that's yeah. it then. He won't stop <laughs> until <laughs> he goes to bed. <laughs> I find up Fletch, but Fly's manager and said, how about we do the next album in Australia? And Fletch said, how about you keep your nose out, you might not be doing the next album. In the meantime, we said to Tom, um, how about we do the album in Australia? And Tom said, oh yeah, that's never going to happen. It'll never happen. It'll never happen. We always say these things, it'll never happen. Which made Fletch think, I'm going to prove you wrong, schmuck. And here we are. They did a couple of shows while they were out here in small venues and they were just amazing. They were just really tight, really energetic, great vibe, the crowd loved it. <laughs> I really know what to expect from the shows out here because we knew it was a small venue that fit 300. Let's go. <laughs> you know, obviously, they're really excited because it's the first time they were the first people ever to get to see us play in Australia. We've been waiting four years to see them and they're finally here. We just met them and I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> I am crying. We, we live up here in the three of us, we've come all the way from New Zealand. Loads of people were there early. As we got out, we got mobbed. It was just like it was in England, and we were so surprised at that reaction that we got. We were just saying, how do you know about us? We were like, my turn. <laughs> <laughs> what about doing a bit of shtick with the crowd and just getting to say, do you want to be on our new album? Yep. This might be terrible. And I've been two mics. You just, get, you, just, you just go, you just shout after me, you just go, we don't care, and they go, we don't care. And it'd be all, all the crowd, we could put him off the radio. Yeah. It might sound brilliant, I might be rubbish. Right, so after me you shout, we don't care.
it sounded really Aussie at first. Yeah, you can hear their accents in the show. We don't care. <laughs> we don't care. I think they're so good at accents. You ready for a fast one? together still in Princess Park Manor and I remember playing it to Dougie and I got the feeling he didn't like it. <laughs> we were writing loads of other songs at the time so I thought well you know if he's not into it I'll just, just concentrate on the other ones. It's basically saying you know how frustrating it is sometimes for us you know being uh, you know being sort of that guilty pleasure band that you know it's people sort of secretly like but don't confess to it you know sod it you know that's it's what we are it's what we enjoy doing and that's, that's basically the message of the song, and the lyrics are sarcastic in the sense that, in, if you don't, you know, if you don't like us, we don't, you know, we don't care because we're having fun doing it. We've got plenty of fans that like our songs, and well, no matter what you look like, what you're wearing, all at the same in the dark. <laughs> Jason is like a six-year-old kid that's been given a can of coke and a packet of sweets. Smart. First member of Fly, yes, it was about three years ago now. I was working on the Matt Willis album at the time, and Matt said, why don't you come and see my friends, Matt Fly? Well, they're not really my friends, but we have to pretend. He's young, talented, good-looking, but he's got breath. <laughs> <laughs> the guys said I'm Jason doing the Matt Willis album and they went okay. my little son Dougie he gave me the confidence to try things and he just sort of he'd just be like let's go for it and just play it like this and he'd be like come on everyone you know he can tell that we're getting to that stage where one more run through will just push us over the edge of playing that song and he'll say right let's go McDonald's or let's go to yeah. cinema or something you can go bigger than that don't be scared <laughs> Rails! 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 There we go, just like that. He's always positive, never tells you you're crap when you are crap. Sometimes they'll say, oh, that was good. McFly. Mm. Mc. Pie, more like. No, you're just making this awkward now, Jason. <laughs> yeah, I know you are, yeah. Yeah. You are. <laughs> Perks of my job is to have someone to talk to all day. <laughs> I don't really like being quiet. So let's just get this mid eight in our heads. Yeah. And on tape, and then we'll go for that and come back and edit if you want. Okay, cool. Or you can stay in edit and go over to you. Uh, yeah. Yes, nail it. The main advantage of this house is it's, that it's bigger than the other one. So if you do just want to get away and go sit in your own for a while, you've got, you know, and the rooms are a lot nicer, you've got it's a nice room to go out. sit in. Or, you know, and just chill out and... Because we lived together when we were, like, 19. It's been, like, three years. So I suppose we've grown up a bit and matured a bit. Only a little bit. But when you look at a lot of bands, there's always going to be tension. But I think... Um, like, we do pretty well. I'd say we do really well. You f***ing do it when you stand You go out and buy it. You go out and buy it. What's this? That's a bit appreciated, isn't it? I know. What, what were you doing? Reading your book no, on the balcony. I was tidying up after you, actually. Oh, yeah. 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 I uh. <laughs> First impressions, you think they're all the same. They're all like brothers, really, but they've all got different personalities. Usually, after you finish making a record, you come out with a bunch of songs and a client, and, uh, and that's great, <laughs> and that's where it is. I mean, is that, a, is that a strange thing to say? Ready? You've got Danny, who... He's giggly all the time and funny, he's got really long arms. And Danny makes everybody laugh in ways that he doesn't even know, <laughs> which is quite funny. Um, you've got Harry, who's very competitive. 
and like, he doesn't even know it, but he wants to be the first and the best at everything. Yeah. Yeah. First one to go green when it goes green. <laughs> if you're going out walking, you have to be the front. If you're going surfing, you want to be the best. Playing table tennis, you want to be the best. And he's, he's probably the fittest member of the band, which is why he's in the market. And you've got Tom, who is quite focused. He can pick things up, like he just learn to fly a plane, he learn to play the piano, or he'll, you know, he'll write a song in that key, and then I'll say change it, and he'll just change it. He's good at, at things like that. But I can only play it in B, and there's no songs that. There's like one song on this album that's in B, so I sort of have to learn how to play it in another key. We've got Dougie who's quite quiet, and um, but he'll come out with some unbelievable comment when he needs to. It's like he's been sitting there stewing, thinking of the most fancy thing he can say, and then he'll just come out and everyone will go, Dougie, you're impossible. I have a good job of waking everybody else up. You? Yeah. I'm just checking you up. Yeah. You cool. Dad? Yeah. Cool. Just checking you up. Yeah. Dougie was Is like the weak symbolic. chicken. He's Dougie like was banned bitch from day one. He's like the duckling with the gimp <laughs> wing. <laughs> he always has been. <laughs> I don't know, he's an easy target. Don't take it too seriously. I know it's all it's all fun and games, and I don't get in a mood of them afterwards. <laughs> we all get it pretty much the same, to be honest. But I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you guys.